Hello brothers and sisters, this is Tina. It's time for a daily devotional. Today I picked a passage of God's words about a big question that many people may have, like why did God create Satan? How did Satan corrupt mankind? What is the progression and the understanding within this and the background behind it? Well, only God can explain this. So let's read God's words. Almighty God says, First, God created Adam and Eve, and he also created a serpent. Of all things, this serpent was the most poisonous. Its body contained venom, which Satan utilized to take advantage of it. It was the serpent that tempted Eve to sin. Adam sinned after Eve did, and the two of them were then able to distinguish between good and evil. If Jehovah had known that the serpent would tempt Eve, and that Eve would tempt Adam, then why did he place them all inside a garden? If he had been able to predict these things, then why did he create a serpent and place it within the Garden of Eden? Why did the Garden of Eden contain fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Had he meant for them to eat the fruit? When Jehovah came, neither Adam nor Eve dared to confront him. And it was only then that Jehovah knew that they had eaten the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and fallen prey to the serpent's trickery. In the end, he cursed the serpent, and he cursed Adam and Eve as well. When the two of them ate of the fruit of the tree, Jehovah was not at all aware that they were doing it. Humanity became corrupted to the point of being evil and sexually promiscuous, going even so far that everything they harbored in their hearts was evil and unrighteous. It was all filth. Jehovah therefore regretted having created humanity. After that, he carried out his work of destroying the world with a flood, which Noah and his sons survived. Some things are not actually as advanced and supernatural as people might imagine. Some ask, since God knew the archangel would betray him, why did he create it? These are the facts. Before the earth existed, the archangel was the greatest of heaven's angels. It had jurisdiction over all the angels in heaven. This was the authority God granted it. With the exception of God, it was the greatest of heaven's angels. Later, after God had created humanity, down on earth, the archangel carried out an even greater treachery against God. I say it betrayed God because it wanted to manage humanity and to surpass God's authority. It was the archangel that tempted Eve into sin. And it did so because it wished to establish its kingdom upon earth and to get humans to turn their backs on God and obey the archangel instead. The archangel saw that so many things could obey it. The angels could, as could the people upon the earth. The birds and beasts, trees, forests, mountains, rivers, and all things upon the earth were under the care of humans, that is, Adam and Eve. While Adam and Eve obeyed the archangel, the archangel therefore desired to surpass God's authority and to betray God. After that, it led many angels in rebellion against God, which later became various sorts of unclean spirits. Has not humanity's development to this day been caused by the archangel's corruption? Humans are only the way they are today because the archangel betrayed God and corrupted humanity. This step-by-step -step work is nowhere near as abstract and simple as people might imagine. Satan carried out its betrayal for a reason, yet people are unable to comprehend such a simple fact. Why did God, who created the heavens and earth and all things, also create Satan? Since God despises Satan so much, and Satan is his enemy, why did he create Satan? By creating Satan, was he not creating an enemy? God did not actually create an enemy. Rather, 
he created an angel, and later that angel betrayed him. Its status had grown so great that it wished to betray God. Amen. This passage of words is very clear, and God explains it very well. That God first created Adam and Eve, and he also had a serpent that he had created. And this serpent was the most poisonous, right? Its body contained venom, and Satan utilized that and took advantage of it. So we know that the serpent tempted Eve, and Adam and Eve, they sinned when they disobeyed God. So this was Satan's objective, was to get them to disobey God. Why? So it could rule and lead and guide mankind to get them to draw farther and farther away from God because it wanted to surpass God, right? So in God, people might think, well, then why did God put them all in the garden? Didn't God know that, that they would eat off the tree and that Satan would tempt them? God gave mankind free will. God gave Satan free will. So of course, how could God know this in advance? right? God does things according to how they play out. So God even reveals that he didn't know that, not until Adam and Eve didn't want to confront him. It was only then that Jehovah knew that they, they had eaten off the fruit of the tree of the knowledge and good and evil, because they fell prey to Satan's trickery. And so, as the end result, God cursed the serpents, and he also cursed Adam and Eve. He removed them from the garden and he kicked Satan out into the air. So humanity has be become so deeply corrupted um, by Satan. You know, God even reveals that we became evil and sexually promiscuous, going even so far as that we harbor in our hearts evil and unrighteousness. And everything we have inside of us is all filth because it's Satan's poison that's embedded within the heart and the mind. And we can see the world today. It's not the world full of evil. You know, even as believers in God, we, we contend with each other. We fight. We talk behind each other's backs. We lie. We're treacherous. We're arrogant. We're selfish. We're greedy. Can we say that these things came from God? Definitely not. So where did they come from? They came from Satan. So Satan has deeply corrupted the mind and the heart of man. And so... God reveals in this passage that we might think things are very simple, but God reveals that, you know, it's not as simple as we might imagine. You know, there's a big war that's going on in the spiritual world between Satan and God and how things played out when God created Adam and Eve and God created the earth and all these different things for us. It's much bigger than what we could ever think because God gave this Satan, right? He gave him, um, a lot of power. He was the greatest of all the angels and he gave him jurisdiction over all the angels in heaven. So, and he gave him authority. So we can see that God says with the exception of God, it was the greatest of all heaven's angels. And later after God had created humanity, the archangel carried out great treachery against God because it betrayed God. It wanted to manage humanity and surpass God's authority. Nothing can surpass God's authority, but because of the free will he gave it and the authority he gave to it, it decided it wanted to surpass God and control humanity. So Satan really hates humanity. He doesn't want us to worship God and obey God because he wants us to worship it. He wants us to get our, turn our backs upon God and obey it. And we can see today a lot of people fall into that trap and we obey Satan. And this is why we cannot break free of sin. It's because we're under the control of Satan. And when this happened, when Satan betrayed Adam and Eve, he saw that, you know, that so many things could obey it. The angels obeyed him and people upon the earth obeyed it. And God gave mankind the authority over all the birds, the fish, everything on the earth. So he thought, well, if I can control humanity... I can get humanity to, de to destroy what God had given to them to destroy the earth. And look at the earth today. Is it not destroyed? Is not our water system, is not our air, and a lot of different things polluted and destroyed? Look at the oceans. It's full of trash and we're killing all the sea life. So this is Satan's objective is to go against what God had created as something that was perfect and beautiful. 
and getting mankind, which he gave authority over this, to be able to destroy it. And so we know that Satan is very evil. And also he led many angels in rebellion against God. And God is the other one who created all this. And God reveals that later these angels that followed Satan, they later became various sorts of unclean and evil spirits. And these are things that will overtake people at times too. So it's really important we understand that our development to this day has been caused by the archangel's corruption. And we can see the result of that. The result of that is destruction of our own self, destruction of what God had given to us. And so God reveals too, we're only the way we are today because the archangel betrayed God and corrupted us so deeply. So this is where God has come and been working upon mankind for thousands of years to gain us back from the hands of Satan, not only to defeat Satan as the end result, but also to humiliate Satan. So this is much bigger than we could ever imagine. And it's not as simple as we might think. And God, God actually reveals too, this is a big question in the mind of man, that why did God, who created the heavens and earth and all things, also create Satan? So God raises this question because he knows it's a big question in the mind and the heart of man because we don't understand. We would think, why did God create an enemy? If God knows all things, why would he create an enemy? But God didn't. God reveals that he didn't create an enemy, right? God didn't. God says God did not actually create an enemy, rather he created an angel and later that angel betrayed him. Its status had grown so great that it wished to betray God. And this shows that, you know, God may know all things, but because of the free will God has given to us, there's certain things that God allows to play out. And God learns from these things as, as kind of we learn also that you know, by giving us the free will that we have, there's certain things that God doesn't know until after it happens. So God created this angel. He gave this angel a lot of authority, a lot of power, and that angel turned against God. So we can see what do we do when we got power and authority? We want to be above other people. We can betray people also. So our nature has become the nature of Satan. So I hope if you had this question before about, well, why did God create Satan if he knew that Satan would betray him? Why did he put Adam and Eve and the serpents all in a garden together? So I hope this question is answered for you today. And this is my little bit of sharing on this passage. If you'd like to add to your sharing to this passage or any questions you might have, post it in the chat box. And if you'd like to learn more about the Lord's second coming, because God reveals so many different things that we might have questions about, let me know. And I'll be glad to get you into one of our sermons so you can read more of God's words also. So that's all I have for today. And I hope you like this passage and we'll see you next time. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.